Hi everyone, I'm Julia and welcome back to Crocoblock channel. The pricing table is one of the most important things of any business website that sells online. It is effective in showing product features and different packages side by side so users can compare and decide to buy or not to buy your products or services. Crocoblock pricing table allows you to create an awesome pricing table without spending a lot of time customizing and styling it. You'll be able to choose a layout that perfectly matches your page or website. What's more, along with the widget itself, you get more options in combo with other Jet widgets, such as Switcher, Tooltip or Unfold, to bring your pricing table to the next level. As always, we upload tutorials every week, so if you don't want to miss them, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to get the notification. And in this tutorial, I want to show you different options of how to get a stylish and creative pricing table with the help of our widget. So let's get to it! Let's start with opening a page in the Elementor page builder. I'm using this cool widget demo page. And in the first example, I'm gonna create a comparison pricing table and show you all the basic settings. So here I have a pre made section with a background image, a couple of headings, and a list of features. Now, what we need is simply find the pricing table widget and drag it to our section. You can see I have three columns, however, let's style just one and duplicate it later. As for the settings, under the general we can pick an icon from the icon library or upload an SVG file and also choose its position, inside or outside header. I'm not using any icon right now, but don't worry, I will demonstrate a perfect example of styling a pricing table including the icons just a bit later in this video. Moving on to the title. It's where we can set any title we want. I'll name the first one basic and leave the subtitle empty. If you want to make it featured, toggle the next option, choose a badge and adjust its position. Under the price, we can change the currency, the price itself and add a suffix like per month or per year and add a price description. Now, I told you before that I already have a list of features, so we won't be filling them now. However, we'll make something different. Let's empty the features text. Choose if it's included or excluded and leave the bullet icons only. I will leave the default icons, but if you need to set a different icon or upload your own one, you can do it right here. Under the action button, let's rename the button. And there is also an option to add a link and text before and after the button. Now we have some cool features here, tooltips and fold settings. Stay tuned and you'll see how to set up everything a bit later. So guys, I think it's time to style our widget. Let's go to the style tab and start with the table. Here we can set a background color or an image, choose a border type, change a table padding and add a shadow box. The cool thing about our pricing table is that you can change the order of the elements and move a price or let's say a button to the first place if you think that it's suitable. I'll change the order a bit and we can move on to the header. I'm gonna change the color of the text and its font in the typography setting. Skipping the icon, let's go to the pricing and style the price. Here we can find options to change every price element, prefix, value, suffix and description separately. Let's take a look at the prefix and price value. I'm changing the color, then setting a font family and size. Ok, if you don't like the position of the prefix, you can always change it in the vertical alignment. I'll choose top. The prefix display also allows you to change the position from inline to block. By the way, you can always adjust the price position under the pricing block padding. Alright, features. As we have no text here, let's go straight to the included and excluded to pick a bullet color and change its size. Now there is an option to add lines and actually some space between the features if it's needed. Let's toggle the features divider. Here you can set 
any color you want, I'll make it completely transparent and adjust the gap between the lines. As for the action box, I will adjust the position in the padding and start styling the button in the next settings, changing the colors, font and size of it. Lastly, I'm duplicating the first column and the only thing that is left to change the titles, price and features. However, I want to draw attention to the premium option in my pricing table by filling it with different color. For that, we can go to the style, table and set a color for the background or open the column settings and apply the same step. Also, let's change our button and we're done with the first example. These were the basic settings, however, what about something creative? Maybe you want to try a column zoom and you think that it will take a lot of time styling it? Well, let me prove that it's super easy with our pricing table widget. I made this section, added a background image and headings, and now I want to create two different subscription plans. Let's drag our widget, quickly change the title, subtitle and price. This time I'm adding features and choosing no bullet icon. Next, renaming the button and let's see what we can do with the tooltips as I want to give some extra information about the subscription features. For that, let's go back to the features, add tooltips and under the tooltips settings, we can change their placement, arrow style and size and change the duration. Let's apply the steps I've shown before, setting a background color for the table, changing the order and styling header and price. Now as for the features, let's fill the features block with a different color, adjust its size and keep on styling them, changing the font and color of the text. Then styling the button and lastly, style the tooltips as well. I went back to the general block, untoggled the arrow, Change the animation and distance. You can always change the tooltips background and text color in the style tooltips. I'm styling the next column almost the same way except for the background. Now to make a column zoom. We need to go to the advanced block, adjust the position of the columns and add a shadow for the second column under the style, table, box shadow. What's special about Crocoblock pricing table widget is that you can get more options in combo with other jet widgets. I have an example of the pricing for the gym and there are three training programs. In this case, we have quite a lot of listed features and if you have the same situation with your pricing, the fold feature can be super handy. To apply it, click on the column where you want to hide an extra content and right in the content block you can find fold settings. Let's enable it. I'll choose four visible items, also change the duration for the fold to make it smooth and apply back for easing effect. Under the fold button we can change the alignment, choose an icon from the library, upload an SVG file or set it to none and also choose the icon position before or after text and change the fold text as well. By the way, we have a whole separate tutorial about the unfold widget. If you're interested, check the link in the description box below. Now to style the button, let's go to the style block fold button. In the typography settings, I'm gonna change the font and size. Also choose icon and text color. A bit below you can adjust the size of the icon separately and add space between the elements by changing the icon margin. Apply the same steps for the hover state if needed. And you can leave it like this, just a text or make a button. For that, I will change the fold text then set a color for the background and adjust its size and position, changing the pattern settings and border radius for both normal and hover states. Let's take a look at the final result.
In this last example, let's finally create a pricing table with the icons. This time I'll pick my own SVG file for the header and an icon from the library for the features. To style the main icon, let's go to the style icon and under the icon style settings, you can set a different color if you choose an icon from the library and also change its size under the font and box size. The last step here is to change the top padding and we are ready to go to the features. Here I will change the icon size and bullet color for the included features as I have included ones only. If you have excluded features in your table, you can apply the same steps in the appropriate settings. After styling the rest of the columns, it's gonna look like this. And the only thing that I want to mention is that I completely changed the price for the last column by leaving a text only. Now you know that customization options with our pricing table widget are limitless. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was useful for you. If you have any questions, leave your comments down below, like this video, subscribe to our channel and join our Facebook community. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.